January, February, March, winter, snow, slush, ice. Let's go south. Let's find the sun. Let's take a cruise. There's no snow or ice in the Caribbean, just palms and sunshine, coral beaches, happy islanders, happy cruisers in a happy ship, Empress of England, your home for the happy days to come. Let go forward, orders the captain, and the southward cruise begins. Ice is all right in its place, tinkling in tall glasses, as subtropic days introduce the glamour of the West Indies, Panama, South America. There's adventure ahead, the adventure of new scenes, colorful ports, carefree life in a floating resort where your enjoyment is the pleasurable duty of a friendly, efficient staff. Staff commander, purser, cruise director, and hostess coordinate your entertainment on board. Broadway entertainers star nightly with the Empress of England Dance Orchestra. Days are lazy or busy as you wish on a Caribbean cruise. Do your banking at the Purser's Bureau or pick up souvenirs, candy or jewelry at the shop. Alert, even in long familiar waters, eight certified navigating officers con your 25,500 ton White Empress cruise ship. While cruise members reserve deck chairs for lazy hours in the sun, marvel at the swift grace of flying fish, or speculate on the mileage traveled since yesterday. As the exotic south nears, cruise members enjoy instruction in southern dance rhythms. Or, snow forgotten, bask in the sun on the Lido deck. Radar, the tireless watchman, picks up the first landfall. And the thrills that never pall, first sight of land green-clad hills, rumble of the anchor chain. A trip by tender to Tropic Quayside. Scented, languid, this air is different. Above all, no hurry. Here is another world where tomorrow really never comes, where the unusual is commonplace, and summer is a state of mind. And where parking is a compromise. Life is pleasant, unhurried and simple in these islands, there's bathing, sun or surf, on beautiful sandy beaches. Or less simple than the native life, the elegance of modern resort hotels. in the distance, the comforting sight of Empress of England. Already she looks like home to her passengers. And what a home, where housewives have no duties and carvers tempt appetites with laden buffets. The restaurant, glittering, spacious, yet somehow intimate, although as wide as the big ship, is a rendezvous for lovers of good food, deft service, and spotless napery. You can act your age on a cruise, for age is relative. 
and years drop off as southern seas chase northern chills. A balloon dance is not a dance at all, but it's lots of fun for everyone. There are less strenuous and more expensive ways of passing the hat than this, but none of them are as much fun. And like all organized games on the cruise, you can have just as much fun watching from a comfortable chair. Incredible skies, clouds silver lined inside and out, a gleaming galleon beyond the dreams of the Spanish dons who sailed these waters centuries agone. Formasted link with past and present, all these add to the romance of a modern cruise to the West Indies and South America. Another tropic isle, no matter which, you can have your pick of a number of cruises with ports arranged in various groupings. There's fascination in every port of call, native life, old customs, glittering pages from history. Choose from the Virgin Islands, Venezuela, Netherlands, West Indies, Panama, Haiti, Barbados, Jamaica, Martinique, Grenada, Trinidad. This is a cruise of contrasts, where the simplicity of native life and the sophisticated luxury of emperors of England fit easily into pattern. Native folk dances and native rhythms even fit into the sophisticated decor aboard ship. Proud of the traditional dances of Martinique, Local singers and dancers pay tribute to bounteous nature, as typified by the sugar cane. Another day, and once again the lazy luxury of breakfast in bed while the big white empress speeds smoothly to yet another fascinating port. Red carpets, official and unofficial, spell out welcome in Bridgetown, Barbados. And the unofficial welcome by masters of the cumbersome but strangely musical steel drum will be long remembered. This unusual instrument lends itself to African rhythms or more modern beats with equal ease. In these lovely islands of the Caribbean, there is perpetual summer while winter storms rage up north. Summer fruits, summer flowers, summer lassitude, and summer smiles on the glistening faces of happy islanders keynote every fascinating port. is lavish under the subtropic sun with eye calming green hills, exotic blooms that match brilliant coloring with haunting perfume. With the natural lollipop of piccaninis of all ages and more prosaic, the economic base of island economy, sugar cane. Life at sea has as much variety as the islands. Apart from your comfort, 
There is an equal interest in your safety as demonstrated by the practical good sense of the boat muster. Racing is one of the sports where the horses do all the work and you have all the fun. even more laughter by spectators and contestants alike when aquatic sports are organized in the Lido pool on the broad sunny afterdeck. A pillow fight above the saltwater pool may be duck soup, but you're really a swimmer if you can change pajamas with your partner and win a prize for the strenuous activity that the onlookers find so amusing. Unlike the pastoral simplicity of some of the islands, the mainland of the South American continent contrasts ancient and modern civilizations. From the port of La Guaira, Venezuela, to the capital of Caracas, smooth, divided highways make child's play of the mountainous terrain. Much of the city remains as it was in the days of the great liberator, Simon Bolivar. But although the legendary figure is still revered, as is attested by the historic shrines and statuary, Modern engineering and architecture, as well as other influences of the outside world, now make themselves felt. Here is a city that dares comparison with other world capitals, where broad avenidas teem with modern cars and promenaders form an endless fashion parade. capital of a progressive state has many vantage points from which its beauties may be seen. Fine new hotels, magnificently sited, offer luxuries undreamed of only a few years ago. of England for a welcome interlude between ports, life pursues its pleasant and normal ways. The Dutch, early settlers in the West Indies, have transported the flavor of their homeland to Curaçao. In fact, except for the year-round summer temperatures, you might well imagine yourself in Holland when you step ashore. Spotlessly clean, multicolored buildings, floating market, bargain-filled shops, and the attractive harbor. pontoon bridge that swings aside to let deep sea ships pass into the inner basins. These are some of the attractions. A few miles from Willemstadt, there are bathing beaches and restaurants famous for Dutch cooking. Passengers live in two worlds, the strange, bright countries in the southern sun and the friendly, luxurious holiday atmosphere of the big white empress. On deck or below, exercising under a subtropic sun or relaxing in air-conditioned comfort, cruise life is kaleidoscopic in the choices it offers.
deck sports or sun tanning beside the pool. Both work up appetites for the pleasant informality of a buffet lunch on the glass-enclosed promenade decks. So informal is it that even bathing-suited diners are commonplace. Except on fancy dress night, dancing in the Empress Room is a little more formal. Not too rigidly so, but enough to encourage Milady to enjoy, and let others enjoy, her favorite evening gowns. A 12-piece orchestra catches or creates the happy mood of each occasion. Another morning and another expedition into the romantic past by way of the Panama Canal, seen from a special sightseeing steamer. famous buccaneer Sir Henry Morgan is on every sightseer's list. New Panama, with a glimpse of the Pacific in the background, is evidence of the effect of North American enterprise. At lunchtime, old and new meet as traditionally dressed dancers flaunt their extravagant costumes against a modern architectural background. radar, you'll never hear a lookout shout land ho, but the man in the crow's nest is still first to see the next port, just as the first Jamaican to see you land will be an enterprising merchant with exotic wares to offer. Exotic gets to be an overworked word as you make your carefree way through the West Indies, whether it be Kingston or historic Spanish town Jamaica, on the surf-washed coast, or in the lush tropical interior is a riot of unusual sights, sounds, and colors. Nothing exotic about bananas? Look again as they grow upside down with green fingers reaching up towards the bright blue skies. Nothing exotic about bananas? Taste one fresh from the tree, but be sure to choose a ripe one. Even the rush of business is exotic in the tropics. Walking is too slow a pace, and better still, you don't have to buy any gas for donkeys. The popular Empress Room is even more popular on the night of the Grand Masquerade. Nearly everyone seems to enjoy dressing up, 
And what better opportunity than in the friendly atmosphere of a Caribbean cruise? Better still, if you don't dress up, you can have the fun at laughing at and with your friends as they parade in ingenious costumes. Part of the thrill of cruising is the romance of going ashore by tender, by the ship's boats, or native-operated launch from the shore. And coming back aboard, there is that reassuring feeling of coming home as you look up at the graceful solidity of Empress of England, always there waiting to welcome you. There is romance too in each new port. Will speech be in a strange tongue, or English with a strange accent or intonation? Will the local specialty be perfume, leatherwork, carvings, or baskets? No need to wonder about fruit or flowers. All through your Caribbean cruise, you'll revel in a riot of exotic odors, exotic tastes. nearly over. It's time to pack up the souvenirs, shake out the furs, unwrap the overshoes, and marshal pleasant memories of happy weeks among the islands. Never to be forgotten may be an old and worn out phrase, but it certainly applies to your cruise. Empress of England will always be your standard of comparison for luxury ships. Shades of blue and green will always mean southern seas and waving palms. Crisp British speech will be a reminder of the pleasant, friendly staff who made your cruise so memorable. 